Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Ghost platform to build a uh, curated or build a community platform, actually, a, a, a community blog uh, or a community publishing uh, site. And using curated content, enable your members to quickly and easily post events, news, products, programs, uh, anything that resources their own, uh, you know, kind of, you know, articles, links, etc. Anything that you want to be able to do using curated content, uh, Ghost makes it really uniquely easy, at least in my view. So uh, for those of you who have seen some of the content that I've done on curation in the past, curation is essentially the process of collecting, clipping, snipping, uh, you know, grabbing content that is relevant to your niche, your market, your locality, um, you know, your topic, your vertical, and creating an authority site that actually has, let's say, news or resources related to that topic all uh, aggregated in one place. So uh, generally to do that with WordPress on a multi-user uh, style site, you need various plugins or you need a very specific kind of theme that is built to do that. Whereas Ghost really allows you to quickly create a multi-author site with a lot of ease. So I can't lead you through a you know 40 minute you know, demonstration of this, but I'm just going to show you the very simple nuts and bolts of how to do this on our community, right? Or how we're doing it, I should say, on our community. So you can see this and emulate this approach, um, you know, if applicable for your own publishing platform. So I'm going to type in mindfulness for COVID anxiety, right? That's a topic that's coming a lot, coming up a lot quite uh, frequently in our own community these days, right? So I'm going to uh, put in news rather than the Google, uh, you know, the, the, than the generalized results. And we're just going to take the most recent results from the news tab. And let's see, I'm looking at this for the first time, right? I just did this search, uh, you know, maybe two or three minutes before I started recording this just to make sure there was some relevant results. And of course, there are. So here's a, a, a press release, a piece of content. I don't really love that. Let's start with this here. All right, so this is realsimple.com. Again, this is not a site that I'm familiar with, but how to manage back to school stress and anxiety during all of this uncertainty. I'm going to take this link. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go into, go into Ghost. Now I am, I'll show you our... Oh, shit. Hold on. Here is our uh, community blog that's built on Ghost, right? So this is a new project we just launched in the last, I don't know, like month or so, three weeks or so, I, I should say. Now, I am now logged in as a, as a, um, you, know, you can see the name Jeremy here. Uh, this is just a, a test account that I'm using for demonstrating this. It is a limited author account uh, that Ghost that I created for this person, right? This person is a hypothetical person that I'm going to be using to demonstrate this process. And um, so far, I have one post created using this process for this again, this assigned to this author, right? Which is really just a, uh, you know, a test author for our beta period as we grow, grow this thing out, all right? So I probably said that badly, but let's, let's just show you what it looks like. All right, so mindfulness, mindfulness exercises for kids stuck at home. And then I'm essentially linking to various resources around the web that's all this is all curated content so let's go back here let's go back to posts and i'm going to add a new post again this is a this is not me as the administrator of this site it is the um, the view that a user would be getting that we gave 
publishing rights to, right, as an author. So we're going to call this Right, and then I'm, I usually start this off with a little stylistic thing. I put a little divider there. Then I'm gonna use the bookmark tab or the bookmark card in Ghost. I'm gonna paste that in. Then I would add generally some parenthetical comments about that uh link that's above i didn't read this you know as you could tell i just looked at it quickly but i would write something like All right, so have kids going back to school in the fall, a quick look at how you can, how to help you, your children manage back to school anxiety in the COVID era. All right, and I generally wouldn't write something like that, but I did there, all right? So usually I would write link below actually. All right, let's find another one education week here's mindfulness for teachers who may have anxiety about the same thing and again we're going to go and use the bookmark card actually again i use that this divider for the styling because i do find ghost and really render this stuff in a really pretty way when you add a little bit extra effort to styling things all right so there you have another Uh, link there and I would just build this out right now again you have to remember this is com this is the perspective of this user Jeremy right so any all I did to initiate a user account was add a email address and invite um, you know this email address which is an email address that I control to set up an author account on our community right and essentially uh, you know, you can do this ad infinitum as many times as you want or need, and you can create a, you know, a, um, a seed group of, of authors for a multi-vendor uh, community or a multi-author community that, you know, will look good when you're inviting real people to add their content, add their links, add their events, et cetera, et cetera. Now, just so you understand the general idea here, Let's say I wanted to add, um, let's say Jeremy had products for sale, right? So then you're, you're giving him the ability to, and again, this is a hypothetical person, but now if I just add a link to our product, uh, our store, right? Our mindful marketplace course community. Well, I just did that as well. So I update that. These controls at the bottom are a pain in the ass. I'm sorry. All right, so now, Jeremy can also, and again, this theoretical or hypothetical author could be adding links, right, to his course community. This is ours here, right? So you can see this is the back end of our, uh, you know, store on Podia. And well, it, let me just log out here. And there it is. So you know, you're giving your audience, the your users, the ability to promote their content, their courses, their events, their, you know, webinars, whatever it is that they're doing, right? All from the back end of your ghost administration. And of course, you can mix and match this with curated content, uh, you know, to your heart's content. All right, so let's do one last thing. We'll just look at Jeremy now as an author. And now he's got two separate posts on the site right and you know you can give this person a, the real person in the world and have many of your members adding content like this and they can have you know 
their products, their events, their news, their favorite links. You can do all this from the back end of Ghost in a really cool and creative way. And now on the front end of the site, you can see mindfulness and back to school anxiety from Jeremy. Jeremy, here's me. Do it before you're ready. This is legitimately, you know, this is me, right? So I actually wrote this. Uh, it's a recording that I made, um, you know, that's available for our community, et cetera, et cetera. And you could just continue to build and bolt and add and create, you know, here is another piece of curated content or, you know, two links here. You know, I'm probably saying more than I need at this point. You get the point. You get the, the gist of this. It's very simple to do. And Ghost makes it really easy. Okay, okay. So I hope that's been helpful to you. And if you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. Thanks.